What's up guys, it's Rob from Concert Junkies and I am with... Scotty James from Bird in the Sky. So, how was last night's show? It was amazing. I mean, that was our first time in New York, uh, right in Times Square too, so it was incredible. Um, the crowd was great. Uh, Seven Dust and Non Point are always fun to hang out with. Uh, and the Bastardane guys are cool as hell too. We got to meet them yeah. um, uh, about a week back. We made good friends with everybody, so we got to uh, hang out in Times Square and play metal music, so I can't, uh, I can't complain, man. So I'm going to ask a hard question here. I always ask. Okay. What do you want to leave as your legacy? Dude, I'm pretty simple. I don't want to leave like some master legacy. I just, uh, I grew up listening to music and it helped me through a lot of stuff. So I just want to be a band that has fun and uh, brings uh, joy to people coming out to shows and uh, uplift spirits, man. That's that's all we're going for. Dude. We uh, Like I always like to say, we're just, uh, we're a bunch of idiots that like to have fun on stage and have a good time. So if people are having a good time, we're having a good time and we're happy. If you could have a two day festival. Okay. Female Fronted is the first day, that's Friday. Saturday is Mixed Match. Okay. Who's on your bill? And well, of course you're on your bill. Absolutely Spirit Box. I am obsessed with them right now, so I gotta go Spirit Box for Female Fronted. Um, whew, day two. Um, guys always give me crap for it, but I freaking love Sleep Token. They're like, I am obsessed with them right now, so I'm gonna put them on my second bill. Really? Those are my guys. I, I still, I did not get to see them at Blue Ridge. I am so upset about it. Uh, this is like my one chance to see them because they don't play in the States often. Well, speaking of Blue Ridge, how was that? Oh my gosh, that was nuts. Um, so we played Wednesday at the pre-party stage because yeah. um, we had to get, get, uh, get out of there for this tour. Yeah. Um, so we weren't sure what to expect because it was just a pre-party, but Dude, we walked out there and it was 11,000 people. That was the, by far the biggest. 11,000 people. Yeah, that was the biggest crowd we've ever played to. So we walked we're like, holy shit. And then like the rain started coming down and they're like screaming and just made them more nuts. We're like, all right, let's do this. So we just, we went for it and slammed. Like, I got out in the crowd and was just throwing down. We were in the breakdowns and we were just screaming. Oh my God, it was so fun, man. It was fun. So who were you able to see while you were there? Uh, like bands, yeah, um, we didn't get to see much. Honestly, it was load in, load out. Uh, we got to, we caught Seven Dust. We watched them for a bit. I watched Bad Omens, which God damn it, they are just incredible live. Um, who else did we, Josh? Who else did we see at Blue Ridge? I'm trying to think, Bad Omens we saw. Yeah, we missed. Man, we missed some big ones. Uh, saw I caught uh, Gojira, which I was stoked about. I caught them. Um, yeah, saw Hill. So I ran into Phil and Salmo. Yeah. I, yeah, that was insane. Was awesome. I was on my phone. I was going to the bathroom, and like I saw a hand reach out for me because um, he just met our, our bass player. And I was like, "Yeah, what's up, dude?" And I like looked up. Yeah. <laughs> it was Phil and Salmo. I was like, "Oh my God, I'm sorry. Hello, you're yeah. a legend." Uh, it was incredible. Yeah. So are you excited about tonight's show? Yes. Yeah. Like I like I said, we were in New York yesterday, and uh, we talked to a bunch of people in New York. And they're like, bro, you guys gotta come to uh, New Jersey. And I was like, uh, we're playing in Jersey tomorrow. And like, they are gonna love you. Cause I heard Jersey's just a bunch of metal heads yeah. that love to come to Starlet and just go nuts. So like, that's my kind of crowd. Like that's that's what we need. So how did you choose the set list for tonight? Uh, pretty easy actually. We just dropped our most recent EP Burn uh, last week. So we're yeah. playing the five songs off that. And then one from our first album, Same Old Page and one from our second album, we're playing Catalyst. So pretty easy to pick those. And uh, it's all new songs of our EP, so we were, we were really excited to get those out there. We've been sitting on them for a while. If you weren't playing music, what would you be doing with your life? Um, sleeping a lot more. Sleeping and a lot more. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I mean, we, we all still got day jobs too, so like we all work. Uh, so I, I do a lot of like programming and stuff. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a software engineer on the side, so I'd probably be doing some of that. and. Uh, I just, I'm a, I'm a simple man, man. I like hanging out with my family and just chilling and watching cartoons. <laughs> so, I'd say that. All right, this is gonna be a hard one here. Okay. Last Supper scenario, who's your 12? Oh my it God. Be, it has to be one female. It could be cartoons, it could be musicians. That's a lot of people, 12, oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna start rambling off names. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go Eddie Van Halen just because I love that guy and he got me into playing guitar and music. Um, I'm gonna go, my bandmates, that's, five or six, just because yeah. they're my brothers, man. Yeah. So I want all of them there. Um, I want, let's see, who else? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep going with Van Halen, because I, David Lee Roth, dude, yeah. he's one of my favorite front men. I know people hate him, but I, I just love watching that dude run around in uh, tight pants and scream. That's, uh, that's my man, so I'm gonna put him there. Um, let's go Hatfield from Metallica. Okay. And um, 
Let's go Chester from Lincoln Park. He got me into screaming. I want him there. Uh, Howard Jones from Kill Switch. That man, oh my God, I did not listen to metal until Howard. So Howard, if, uh, if you see this, I love you, brother. Um, I think that's getting close to 12. Oh, and female, let's go um, Joan Jett, baby. Okay. I want Joan Jett there. Want Joan I'd like there. to party with her. I like that. If you can bring one thing back from the 90s, what would it be? I grew up in the 90s. Everything. Zebra stripes gum. Okay. I love zebra. And Big League Chew. We, we actually found some of that on the road and we bought like eight pounds of it. Okay. So we got, <laughs> we got it sitting on the bus. Um, let's see who else. Um, uh, not what's her name? Not Avril Lavigne. Um, the God, Alanis Morissette. Okay. Big Alanis Morissette fan. And what else is nine, dude? Like just just video games. I love like '80s and '90s video games. So like that's that awesome. era. That's all I want. Like I said, I'm simple. Like video games and music, man. That's, that's I'll take that. Back to the last sub scenario. What is your comfort food? Cool. That you have to have there? All right. This stuff is amazing, so if you haven't tried it yet, I want you to take Ritz crackers. Got to be the hint of salt, though, not the full salt. Okay. Hint of salt, and you slather some Nutella on that bad boy and make a sandwich out of it. Okay. Get out of here. It's it's amazing. I love it. I just I got a whole box in the bus, and I just that and uh, peanut butter banana sandwiches. Uh, that's pretty much what me and TJ live, we'll off, live of. off of. Yeah, <laughs> on the road. So we're just back there making peanut butter banana sandwiches while the bus is moving. So what was the hardest song? In the you made to release, like lyrically wise. So um, honestly, on. this EP, it was a whole new experience for us because previously we had done everything on our own. We all the writing, all the production, all the marketing, everything we did ourselves. This EP was the first chance we had to actually work with like real producers. Yeah. So we worked with Ricky Armelino from Ice Nine Kills on the nice. e on the EP. So. Shout he, out to him. yeah, Ricky, man, my Shout God. To to also, talk about like workhorses. Like, I was so happy to meet those guys because, like, you hear these big bands, and sometimes you think, oh, they're just like floating by and getting everything for free and all this. Like, those dudes are the hardest working guys I've ever met in my life, and it was really inspiring to work with someone like that. Um, so yeah, it was it was a whole new experience, and we learned so much working with Ricky out in Pennsylvania. So we wrote um, three out of the five songs. Um, from the EP with him. We have a whole bunch more that we're planning on releasing throughout the uh, next year. Um, so we're still sitting on those, but just working with him in the studio was just, I mean, it helped us writing so much. We learned how to write lyrics better. We learned how to construct songs better. And we're just, we're super grateful for working with him. So I would say all of these songs were very difficult. And then also uh, not just working with Ricky, but we also worked with Morgan Rose in the studio on The Flood, which is the other song in the EP. I love that song. Oh my God, yeah, and working the video with him. Yeah, oh, Alex, uh, Alex Eric, he was the director for that. Incredible, incredible. Um, but yeah, we learned, and also, what I did not understand with Morgan, that dude knows his harmonies, like vocal harmonies. Yeah. He came in and just showed me, I'm like, dude, I didn't even know you were a singer. And he showed me all these harmonies, and we just, we learned a ton from him. So uh, this whole EP was a massive, massive learning experience for us. So uh, I'm really excited. We're going to go back in the studio with Morgan and Ricky and write some more tunes right. in the winter. I uh, I can't wait to see what those sound like because this was this EP and these songs were kind of us like getting to know each other and learn how each other write. Now we kind of have that chemistry, so I'm really excited to see what uh, what comes after this. Pretty awesome. So, what is your dream bill? Dream bill? Hmm. As a patron or being on? I'll speak for the rest of my band just because we grew up on, um, so Korn would be a huge one. They were a big influence with us. They were actually one of the first bands that I saw live that I was like a teenager. And I think I saw them at, uh, the I think it was I called guess. Tweeter Center back in uh, Illinois. Um, it was for like the Project Revolution, I think, uh, tour okay. way back in the day. But I saw them just jamming and I just looked around and all these people from all walks of life, like no one gave a shit who anyone was. They were just all together and just going nuts, marching. I was like, yeah, this is uh, this is what I want to do with my life. Um, so I'm gonna go corn. Um, Deftones would be a sick, sick bill to be on. Um, Q 
Kill switch engage. I would love to part, dude. Adam, I want. I gotta meet Adam D, man. That guy on stage. Oh, he's, he's funny as hell. Dude, he. I met him here actually. No, did you? Yeah. Oh, I'm jealous, dude. When he won the prices, right? I yeah, saw that. Yeah, that was hysterical. <laughs> I lost my mind. When I saw that, I was like, no, this can't oh, be. Oh, dude, I grew up while watching that show with my grandma, <laughs> yeah. so like, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Adam D, and he just runs up. Yeah. Like, that's Adam D. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna k put kill switch on that bill too. Yeah, that. That was a very cool night. So I normally flip this around. Okay. You can ask me anything. Okay. Um, I guess what to expect from like a Jersey crowd. This is our first time on the East Coast. I heard there's a lot of metalheads in this area, so I'm stoked to see you guys come I'm, out. I'm I'm gonna say very nuts. Like nothing like the year. You don't know what you're gonna expect. There could be somebody in the banana suit. There could be. <laughs> Hey, I might come back in a banana suit. Who knows? I, I hope I, you I, do. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you never know. Jersey scene, you never know what you're going to expect. I like that. There'll be, there should be some crowd surfing. Dude, Definitely, yeah. there should be. Yeah, we're we're all family, so there's not that many fights or anything. Just, Good, that's what I like. Just normally, you know, throw down. Just definitely. A good experience. Awesome. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds very much like our Midwest crowd. I mean, just like everyone's chill and has a good time. But man, when that music gets going, yeah. everybody just together and just getting in it. And I uh, I appreciate that a lot. So I'm, I'm so, glad to hear that. I won't say character, but like when do you when does it just click when you get on stage? Is it the first snare? Or is it? Um, probably when I'd say when I walk out, but. It, in addition to that, like, I got a good, like, like for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before the show, I just get super anxious. Not like scared, but I'm just like, I want to get this thing moving, yeah. like, let's go. So I, I usually take like 14 pisses because I'm just, yeah. I got like that like nervous stomach. So I'm just in there like waiting and waiting and waiting. And then uh, we, when Ricky hits that intro and we start walking on stage, I'd say like, as soon as I walk out and I, I hear that like roar, like yeah. crowd, crowd go, I'm like, all right, let's do this. I'm ready now. Yep. So I'm not gonna keep you from relaxing before you start. Tonight. Sure, sure. Do you have any messages for your fans? Um, yeah, just uh, simple. Uh, we appreciate everyone that comes out. We just want you to come out, have a good fucking time, big smiles, and just uh, throw down hard with us, man. That's all we ask. We like traveling out here. Um, we got high energy, and we love it when the crowd has high energy because that just makes us even more nuts. So uh, come out, have a kick-ass time, and wear your banana suit if you got one. And where can you guys be followed? Oh, dude, we're easy. Uh, Burden of the Sky, search us. We're on Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music. We're easy to find. We're out there. Just uh, search us, you'll find us. I would like to thank you for your time. Dude, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Can't wait to see I'll, that banana suit. I'll be, uh, I'll be here at five. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. Have a great thank night. Thank you so much.